Hi, welcome to the channel. There comes a time when you just have to accept that something hasn't worked the way you wanted it to and my DIY poly tunnel, yeah, things are growing in it but the roof has been an absolute disaster as you can see and I have tried lots of different things to get it to work. The structure itself it was okay, it was withholding all the wind and the rain that we were getting, but the roof was bad, so I decided, bye bye baby, you gotta go. At some point you just have to make that decision. So the first thing I thought was take some of the shelving out of the DIY polytunnel, because the one I bought, it's a little smaller. So I thought I'd use this one to put the salads on outside, so they actually will grow better outside, I think, I'm hoping. Put it beside the apple trees and hopefully all the salads will grow happily together in a nice little group. Now as you can see I've started cleaning things away and the first job of course is to take the cover off and this cover is in two parts. There's the yellow one that you can see and there's the green one. So it was a bit of a job I have to confess because I do dig a trench all the way round and bury the cover which you will see a little bit more when you see how I put the new cover on and what I do to it. Now the next day, this is done over three days, so the next day, yes, we got the new frame up. I was delighted. I did have to have help with that. I could not manage that on my own as much as I tried. The instructions were okay. You know, when you get used to it, it's a lot of numbers on a diagram and once you figure out what they're talking about, it's okay. So I took out another of the shelving units, the one there has its own cover, so it didn't really need to be in the polytunnel. And here's the trench that I've been digging all the way around. I had to do a new one at the back because, like I say, it was a little shorter than the original one. But I've kept the original trench along the side. Finally got the cover on. I nearly managed all of that myself, so I was quite chuffed. And inside I'm trying to work out the layout and just get things where they really need to be. When I do this, I make my trench and I put the cover right down. This has got a really long cover on it, so I was pleased. I use bricks to hold the cover in place, then rake the soil back over. Firm it down as much as you can with your boot. That is going nowhere. I'm telling you, that thing will not move. And here we are. After three days of work, we finally got a sunny day so I could show you this is how it looks. So this has got a door at each end. I mean, this is, I like it. It's good for the ventilation. And inside, like I say, I've still got to sort out where things are going to go. So far, so good. I'm happy. I've got my salads outside. That I did call out the corner of doom. I think that's looking better. And inside, the plants are a lot happier. Our weather leaves a lot to be desired. So I think we're going to be much happier in there. I hope you've enjoyed my very quick explanation of what I spent the entire weekend doing. I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you on the next one.